this is one of those things that it's kind of related to a lot of other, this other conversation. If we have problems with leadership, problems with our culture, uh, problems with how we treat people, how we train people, how we manage people, then we're going to have a high, high employee turnover rate. And you know, a company with a high employee turnover rate is very difficult to grow and to get to be profitable, right? So let's talk about that. So why do we have an exercise about this? Because there's a high correlation between companies that chronically struggle and a high employee turnover rate and low employee experience or low tenure. Uh, when people keep leaving, it's a cause of low performance for your company. We all know this. It makes sense because if we have new people, they aren't good at their jobs yet and can't make a great contribution until they learn and have experience. I remember in my company when retaining good people was a mystery to me and a source of great frustration. Today we have many people with over 5, 10, and even 20 years of experience, and they're the ones running most of the show for me. Without them and their experience, I wouldn't be writing this to you right now. I'd be fighting fires on the front lines with customers all day. So when we have high company performance, we have high average tenure or higher if we have low tenure, we're going to have uh, low company performance, okay? Experienced employees perform better, okay? I'm not telling you anything that's, uh, you know, wow, that's uh, really? Wow, that's amazing. Uh, we all know this, okay? When employees stay for long periods of time, it really helps to provide stability. Other employees see everyone else staying, so they stay too. Things are consistent and there's less drama. How many people have ever had, like, a bunch of people just walk out at the same time? right? In the same week, you have, oh, this good one who's, you know, a natural leader, whether they had a title or not, leaves. And then they think, oh, well, they must know something. This is not a very good place. They leave. And then all these other people leave. And then people start throwing their pencils down and say, I quit too, you know, and pretty soon you've lost a, a group. Okay. Um, and it may not be all at the same time, but you know, when, when one good person leaves, it doesn't reflect very well right, to, to the others. Right? When they stay for a long period of time, it increases quality and reduces mistakes. Employees who stay learn how to do their jobs well. You've invested in their education and their mistakes, and now they can produce for you. Your customers will be happy with the experts showing up at their home and the great results that they produce. You'll get a better reputation and more referrals. Experienced employees will get you a, a better reputation, more referrals, which drives overall lead cost down and makes it easier to make a profit. Reduces recruiting and training time. Recruiting and training are high value activities, but when you're training a replacement for a good person who left, you aren't gaining ground. You're just working to stay where you were. It reduces management time needed. Experienced employees need less instruction and oversight. Their performance is predictable and scalability depends on predictability. I would circle that. Scalability depends on predictability, right? If it's unpredictable, how do you scale the thing? That's why we gotta have systems. It helps teamwork by increasing trust between team members. When new people come into the mix, people jockey for position and don't know who has what skills and real intentions. As people work together for years, they develop trust and loyalty as they get to know each other. And that matters a lot for a team to function well. It increases productivity. Experienced teams will produce not only higher quality work, but more of it and make it look easy compared to new teams. You get more dollars in for the payroll you pay out each week as the team is fully engaged. You have less accidents and better safety. Experienced employees make less mistakes and anyone who may want to commit uh, workers' compensation fraud is either not here or already gone. And you make a profit. All these factors add up to making a profit or not. So that's a lot of benefits. You know, in your business, you might spend 40% of your revenue on payroll, your total payroll. So imagine if those uh, people were, you know, 20% more productive. If they were less experienced, let's say, to get the same output, you'd have to spend 48% of your payroll. But now you can get by with 40% of your payroll because they're experienced, they make less mistakes, there's less rework, less management, right? I have one manager managing 20 of them instead of one manager managing eight of them. You know, it's a nightmare because they're all new and they don't know what to do and they're fighting and they're jockeying for position and, you know, don't, don't trust each other, don't work well together yet. 
So that's 8% of my total revenue in the difference in productivity output, right? 8%. Wow. Can you see where if I, like if I had a, if all my employees left and I had to get all new employees tomorrow, do you think we would be profitable? No way, right? How am I gonna train all these people and they're gonna be, I'm gonna have to go through them. Probably for every one employee who's here, I probably went through a number of them over the years to get the one that wants to be here and wants to stay and is doing, doing good, right? So I'm gonna have to go through that again, you know, with every position. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's a big deal. We have any uh, comments? We went through a lot of turnover, like a lot of companies, and uh, we just changed the mindset that employees don't leave companies or jobs, they leave managers. It's helped. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we're gonna talk about the reasons they leave and what we can try to do about it. You know, it's all connected, like so many of these uh, things that we talk about in the school are connected.